Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, today I'm making this video at the request of one of my friends. Uh, he wanted to see all the guppies that I had going, um, how they looked. So I'm just gonna catch them out and see what they look like. Put them in a container uh, just to get a good sample of them. Yeah. Alright, looks like I caught some. Let's get them into a container. So yeah, here's my fish in a the container. These are my um, gray body koi guppies. And once in a while they'll actually throw out some albinos. So my theory on these is that they came from an albino strain and it doesn't breed true. And some of them are gray, some of them are albino. Oh yeah, these are the gray body koi guppies all right let's take a look at something else so this is the pond that I'm keeping um, a colony of Japan bluegrass guppies and these are the ones that I got six fry from Kang Lee to and um, Twin City guppies and as you can see they are really prolific they have produced a lot of fry so let's take a scoop and see what we get. Alright, that should be good. Let's put them in this container. Okay, here they are in this container. It's kind of interesting because a lot of them mostly have this yellowish tail to them. But their bodies are definitely that neon blue look, that, that Japan blue look. But I never expected their their tails to look so yellow. In the pond, they look more of a bluish color, but in this container they definitely look a little bit more yellow on the yellow side. Let's see what they look from like from the top. And yeah, I see when they're in that pond. I guess they are kind of that yellowish color. Pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, these are the Japan bluegrass guppies. Let's take a look at some other stuff. All right, in this tub I have some um, bluegrass meadow heads, also from King Lee. This one I got a breeding pair from him, and this is the pair that actually won. And they have since had a lot of fry. So let's see if I can catch some out to show you guys. I'll be right back. All right, here's a look at the metalhead bluegrass. And as you can see, there are some red ones in here. And I think I'm just gonna let them hang out in the colony. Usually you probably wanna call those, but I think that's a pretty good looking strain as well. And a lot of copies that are blue will throw reds as well. And they'll still kind of retain their overall pattern but yeah this is a good looking strain I like this alright let's go look for another one alright and here is where I keep my unnamed strain of I don't know if they're Endler guppies or what but they're pretty much a purple strain and I haven't really had anyone come up with a name with, for these yet but uh, let's catch them on and take a, some, take a look all right, here's this purple strain, and they look really neat from the top. They they have this really bright iridescence to them, and um, there definitely is a purple hinge to them. And uh, the females actually kind of have this, a lot of times have this orange color to their tails, but definitely a shorter-tailed version. I think these guys look pretty cool. Yeah, those are those. If anybody knows what these are called, let me know in the comments. And in this tub, this is where I throw in all of my calls. But there's actually some interesting looking stuff in here. 
This is where I throw my um, koi guppies that don't have that dot on their head and some other things. But let me just catch them on and show you guys what's in this tub. Alright, so this is what I have in my cull tub. Just kind of a mix of things. Nothing in particular, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy looking at all my cuppies that I have. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye chickens.